Hi, so, um, my name is Ashley. I am 18 years old. I'll be 19 in less than two months. And I, I just quickly wanted to talk about something that was recently brought to my attention by one of my friends. And it is common misconceptions of people struggling with agoraphobia. Now, if you don't know what agoraphobia is, it is a type of anxiety disorder um, in which a person becomes afraid to go to certain places in fear that they will panic and be unable to go home or yeah, be unable to get back to their safe place in a short amount of time and in the most severe cases being unable to actually leave their home for periods of time. Um, I suffer from agoraphobia. I've had agoraphobia for about four years now, off and on. Um, sometimes it gets really bad, sometimes it kind of lightens up. Um, the first time I experienced it, I didn't leave my house for about five months, but then I went back to school and everything was fine again, and then one day I was on my way to school in 2010, December 13th, 2010, I was on my way to school and um, all of a sudden I had a really bad anxiety attack, literally sitting, waiting at a stoplight, waiting for the color to change from red to green and uh, it was taking too long and I, I was getting really anxiousy and I just freaked the fuck out. And um, I haven't left my house since then. Um, it is now August 19th, 2013, merely three years later, and I'm still unable to leave my home. Um, a lot of people seem to misconceive the, 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 I don't know how to word it, the actual disorder itself. People think, oh, you're a pussy, you're afraid to go outside. Grow a pair, just step out the door. Why can't you go to the, to the, to the mall with me? Why can't you hang out with me? Why can't you come over? Why can't you go to this party? Why can't you do this? Why can't you do that? You're so fucking weird, you can't leave your house. LOL, what a loser. And it's like, people just think you're afraid of the outside. When realistically, I'm not afraid of the outside. I think outside is beautiful, and I think nature is wonderful, and I love the world, and one of my biggest dreams is to travel the world and experience so many other opportunities, and I want to go places. I, one of my, I think my, literally my biggest dream is to move to somewhere in Europe. I really want to visit Europe, um, mostly like the northern European countries where like, I'd say, of course, the United Kingdom and Ireland and like Sweden, Norway, Finland, um, Iceland, Greenland, I'm forgetting a ton, but that whole area of countries I really just want to visit so badly. It just, I find it really fascinating for some reason. I don't know why I've always been really fascinated with that particular part of Europe, but um, Like, if I was afraid of the outside, I wouldn't want to travel. I wouldn't want and dream of going to these places. Instead, I would just sit here and plan my whole life in my bedroom, which is something I haven't done and I don't want to do. Because I don't want to be trapped in my bedroom forever. It's not a choice. The agoraphobia is not something that I've just li- I, I, My parents seem to think I use it as a crutch, so I don't have to go places. I would absolutely love to go places. Right now, if I could go outside and go to a movie theater or the mall or a bowling alley and know that I would be 100% okay and I wouldn't panic and I wouldn't freak out and I wouldn't go numb and I'd be able to swallow and breathe and feel completely normal, 
and I would go in a heartbeat. I genuinely would. But the problem is, is once I leave the, my front door, I'm then thinking immediately. If I go to, if like, if I walk to my fucking mailbox, I have to make sure that I'm in a certain distance to where I can go back inside quickly if I need to. I'm afraid of even driving down the road with my mother. Because sometimes, there's been times where, you know, you'll drive down the road and then you get, I get too far. I, I get to a point where I'm not comfortable and I don't feel safe and I need to go home immediately. I need them to turn around and they don't. And then I panic. I freak out. Can't breathe. I go numb. Can't swallow. My depersonalization and derealization really kick in at that point. And it just feels like I'm so hazed and it's like I'm detached from, I'm completely detached from reality. It's such an out-of-body experience and that's the best way I can really describe it. Is that you just feel like you're no longer here and you're just kind of floating and you're just, everything gets, gets really blurry and, and gray and it feels like you're in a dream. But you know that you're not, you know that you're here, but it doesn't feel like it. For me, that, that's what um, I, I get when I go outside most of the time. Not when I go outside, like I can sit out back and I can maybe go for a swim in my pool or, or sit out front and just watch the cars pass on the highway or look up at the sky and just, just, just look around and, and breathe in the fresh air and admire the beauty around me. I love doing that. I love, I do like being outside. It's just, I don't like going too far away from my safe haven. Otherwise I feel unsafe from that point on. And people think it's weird. And hell, it probably is weird. I'm, I'm so abnormal. I suffer from, let's see, I suffer from, of course, like several types of anxiety disorders, like generalized anxiety disorder, panic and anxiety disorder, of course, agoraphobia. I suffer from partial separation anxiety due to my agoraphobia. Can my friends stop by and make me calm the fuck down? Um, so sorry. Um, I suffer from, of course, the depersonalization slash derealization. Uh, have really bad OCD, fairly bad depression. I suffer from like I have problems with eating at times, and, and due to like depression and I don't. And I'm I'm kind of paranoid, but like I wouldn't call it. I wouldn't actually say that I suffer from paranoia. I think that's just more so my anxiety, you know? Um, I also have really bad social anxiety. Really bad social anxiety. I can't talk for my life. Like, if you try to make me have a conversation with a person, I will just start panicking. I, I don't know what to say. I'm just afraid. I'm just like, holy crap. I'm not going to say the right thing. I am being judged right now. Even if you just put me in a room with a different person, not even to where I have to talk to them, just even be in their presence. I suddenly feel very anxious and I'm full of, I can just literally feel the anxiety coursing through my veins and I just need to get the fuck out of there as soon as possible so I can just go back in my bedroom on my computer and talk to my internet friends because I have no real friends because they all left me because they think I'm a fucking weirdo who can't leave her house. What's the point of being friends with someone in real life if they can't actually hang out with you in person, right? Like, I, it shouldn't always have to be them accommodating my needs. I should be able to go to their house instead of them always coming here, right? Well, that's not the case with me because I can't fucking go anywhere. So why am I spilling out my heart and my frustrations at 1.25 in the morning when I should not be doing this right now. It was just something that I was talking briefly about with this girl. She has anxiety as well, but she doesn't have agoraphobia. And she kind of, she was talking like she knew what it was like. And that's what's kind of, in a way, it's, it's kind of frustrating because agoraphobia, honestly, I think is the hardest part of my anxiety disorders. Or my mental disorders in general, I think. The agoraphobia has disabled me and disallowed me from doing a lot of things that I would have loved to do over the past few years. 
I had to drop out of high school because of it. And now I'm currently enrolling. I just enrolled in my second online school. And I'm currently taking ninth grade for the third fucking time. Do you know how frustrating it is? I'm 18 years old. I should have graduated last this past May. And now we're in August and I'm still in ninth grade. Because my agoraphobia, I couldn't complete actual high school. And it's just, it's, it's really slowed my life down. I, I can't do normal things. I can't, my family can't go on holiday anywhere. They can't really go on vacation anywhere at all whatsoever because I can't go with them. And if they leave me for too long, I get really bad separation anxiety and I panic the fuck out. And I don't like it. It's not something I choose to do. I wish I could control it. I wish I could be like, yo, go to Indiana for four fucking days. I'll see you then. And just stay here fine by myself. But if I have a problem and they're not here or they can't get home to me quickly, then that also gives me anxiety as well. I don't know. It's just all of it is really horrible. And I wish that a lot of people knew more about it and more people were aware of the things that come with it. Like, it's not a choice. People think I choose to be this way and I've chosen to live this way and I've chosen to just stay inside. People go, oh, she's just the type of person that doesn't want to go anywhere. You don't actually know me. Why are you making these assumptions as, you know, you are my, you are me because you're not me. You don't know if I want to go anywhere. I would love to go places that I want nothing more than to be able to go to the fucking grocery store for five minutes without feeling like I have, I'm gonna die, you know? Like, I don't like being this way. It's not something that I like whatsoever. If I could change one thing about myself, it would be that I have no mental illnesses whatsoever. And that I could actually just live normally and freely without worrying every second of my fucking life. I can't even go to the bathroom without feeling anxious. I can't even stand up without feeling anxious, to be honest can't lay down without feeling anxious. I lay down, I feel like I'm gonna die. I have to prop my pillows up every single night because I feel like I'm gonna die if I don't. I always have to make sure I have like everything, you know, prepared ahead of time. I have to make sure everything is, you know, what's what. It's, it's horrible. I hate it. I wish I wasn't like this, but I can't help but worry. I can't help but be anxious over just breathing right now. Even making this, I'm, I'm, an, I'm seriously, I'm, I'm like so anxious. I'm just trying to persevere through this video. Why did I make this? It's 13 minutes longer now, so I think I'm gonna stop anyway. But like, yeah, that was just, that's just my personal experience with agoraphobia. Of course, I'm not speaking for everyone who's ever had it or who's ever suffered from it, and or is struggling from it currently at the moment. But if you are struggling with it. Don't be afraid to like send me a message and we can get through it together. Just know that nothing is impossible and I wish you all a happy and healthy recovery from anything that you're going through. And if you ever need anything, I'm here. <laughs> yeah. So, bye.